This was actually a poem that I discovered in 1972 in Playboy magazine, written by Shel Silverstein. And it's called The Winner. So I threw a 145 in C on it and uh, thought I'd play it tonight. I haven't played it in a long time. It's about getting in a lot of fights. It's about a guy who gets in a lot of fights. It's called The Winner. And I don't know if it was ever really a song, but it is now. So. Well, the hulk of a man with a beer in his hand, he looked like a drunk old fool. But I knew if I hit him right, I could knock him off that stool. But everybody said, be careful, cause that's Tiger Man be cool. He's had a whole lot of fights and he's always come out the winner. But I'd had about five too many. So I walked up tall and proud. I faced his back and I faced the fact that he never stooped or bowed. I said, Tiger Man, you're a pussy cat. And a hush fell on the crowd. I said, let's you and me go outside, see who's the winner. Well, he gripped the bar with a hairy hand and he braced against the wall. He slowly looked up from his beer. My God, that man was tall. He said, son, I see you're a scrapper. So just before you fall, I'm going to tell you a little what it means to be a winner. You see these bright, white, smiling teeth, and you know they're not my own. Mine rolled away like chiclets down the streets of San Antonio. But I left that person cursing, nursing seven broken bones. Well, he only broke three of mine, and that made me the winner. Well, his broken back was the dying act of handsome Harry Clay. That sticky Cincinnati night, I stole his wife away. That woman, she gets meaner and uglier every day. But I got her, boy. That made me the winner. Let's see. My knuckles are so swollen, I can hardly make a fist. Who would have thought old Charlie had a blade taped to his wrist? My blind eyes where he cut me, and my good ones where he missed. Yeah, you lose a couple things when you're the winner. Let's see. I got arthritic elbows, I got dislocated knees. From picking fights with thunderstorms and charging into trees. My nose has been broke so often. I might lose it if I sneeze. Well, are you sure you still want to be the winner? I got a steel plate inside my skull underneath this store-bought hair. My pelvis is aluminum from taking lady stairs. And if you had a magnet, boy, you could lift me off this chair. And that's what happens to you when you're the winner. When I walk, you can hear my pelvis rattle, creak, and crack from the great Olympic hump off with that nymphomaniac. After which, I spent the next six weeks on my back. And she walked off smiling, leaving me the winner. Now you remind me a lot of my younger days with your knuckles clenching white. But boy, I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to sip this beer all night. And if you gotta prove something by winning some silly fight, well, okay, I quit. I lose, you're the winner. Now, I walked out of that bar room, not so tall and proud. And behind me, I could hear the hoots of laughter from the crowd. But my eyes still see, my nose still works, and my teeth are still in my mouth. And you know, I think. That makes me the winner. Thank you, Shel Silverstein. Now, I did write this next one. I know everybody expects me to do one of the I'll do this one. I was in a hospital a while, about eight years ago or so, and I almost died. So I wrote a song about it. Now, in the song, it's about a guy who had a heart attack. I didn't have a heart attack. You were great. But it fits the song better. It's called, I'm glad, I'm glad to be alive. Well, one day my 
my stomach, it felt funny. My knees felt kind of weak. I thought my final day had arrived. But paramedics zapped me back from a fatal heart attack. I'm real glad I didn't die. I'm real happy to be alive. I'm real glad I didn't die. I hear moaning and complaining, I just find it entertaining. I'm real happy to be alive. Now the nurses stuck me full of needles, and they took about half of my blood. They x-rayed my bones, man, it was the worst. Well, they finally sent me home with pills and bills galore. I'm just glad it wasn't feet first. I'm real glad to be alive. I hear moaning and complaining, I just find it entertaining. I'm real happy I didn't die. You know, I hug my grandchildren and I kiss my wife. I sit back and watch those family fights. I don't really care, cause I'm still sucking air. I'll lay back and let it all work out, you know. There's lots of things about this life I don't really like. A long list of people I could live without. But even with all the crap, I'm happy to be back. I'm gonna smoke a joint and let it all work out. Glad to be alive. This was an old Tom Lear called The Hunting Song. I thought I'd do this over at White uh, Hollow, White Hill Hollow, maybe in September. Hey, uh, Tom Lear, 1953. Let's see. I always will remember, it was a year ago in November, I went out to shoot some deer on a morning bright and clear. Well, I went out, I shot the maximum that the game laws would allow. Two game wardens, seven hunters, and a cow. Well, I was in no mood to trifle. I took down my trusty rifle. I went out to stalk my prey. Oh, what a haul I made that day. Well, I tied him to my fender and I drove him all home somehow. Two game wardens, seven hunters, and a cow. Well, the law was very firm. It took away my permit. It was the worst punishment I ever rendered. But I found there was a reason. Cows were out of season. And one of the hunters, well, he wasn't insured. Well, people ask me how I do it. And I say there's nothing to it. You just stand there looking cute. And when something moves, you shoot. Well, there's ten stuffed heads in my trophy room right now. Two game wardens, seven hunters, and a purebred Guernsey cow. Cow. There it is. about your first sexual experience, how it sets the pattern for the rest of your life, whether you like it or not. It's called, What is Your Proclivity? Let's see. What is your proclivity? What is your desire? What is it that turns you on with lights your little fire? Is it something really kinky? Is it something fun? Is it something I've never done? Well, the first time is the blueprint. Sets your future course. 
The vibrations from the Harley seat with the bouncing of the horse. Is it something really kinky? Is it something new? Is it something we can both do? Well, missionary's kind of boring. Doggy can be fun. Pile driver hurts my neck. Can I spank your little bum? Is it something really kinky? Is it something weird? Is it something I should be scared? Well, I'll pull at my tethers, bound in rope or leather, locked in chains or dipped in feathers, as long as we both come together. Is it something really kinky? Is it something fun? Is it something I've never done? Proclivity. I'm done for tonight. Thank you all. It was fun. <laughs>